I love it now because being in country, this just happened the other day when somebody tweeted, I was today years old when I found out Darius Rucker was the lead singer of Hootie the Bluefish. <laughs> That's just, every time I see that, that makes me laugh. Hey, what's up? This is Darius Rucker, and this is the hit story of Only Wanna Be With You, my song with my boys, Hootie and the Blowfish. Only Wanna Be With You is one of those upbeat, happy songs that make people want to dance and sing along. And when they hear the opening, it's it, it's on. They know they're about to have three and a half minutes of a party. It's a jangly rock pop song from the 90s. It was our form of, of rock music, what we were playing. And that was that was the best part of being in Hootie the Blowfish, nobody else sounded like us. Hootie the Blowfish was a band that got really big in the 90s and put out a record called Cracked Review that's the eighth selling best record in the history of music. But really, Hootie the Blowfish was just four dudes from the University of South Carolina that, that worked their butts off. We were playing 200, 300 shows a year, out playing the same clubs every six weeks, trying to make it. When we wrote Only Will Be With You, the only thing in my mind was we need another song for Hootie. Mark Bryan, the guitar player at Hootie Blowfish, bought me the music that one day. That opening guitar riff is so recognizable. Those two chords, and, and as soon as you hear it, I mean, they're just happy. My favorite lyrics is I'm such a baby because the dolphins make me cry. This is years ago. This guy's be 94. I'm talking to this girl at a bar, and she says to me, you know, I just think that's so cool. You know, you're really in a save the whales and save the dolphins and i started i said what do you mean she's like well you know that song you know i want to be with you you know dolphins make me cry i was like i'll talk about the miami dolphins i like the song but i wasn't crazy about it we finished cutting crack review and I'm in the meeting deciding what songs on the, go on the record, and I go on this rant, and this diatribe is probably a better word, about how much I just didn't want Only Want to Be With You to be on the record. You know, I just thought it was a bad idea. It's, the song's too poppy, and of course, I get outvoted, and the song comes on the record. Then when we put it out as a single, it's the fastest moving song we've ever had. And I just remember, when it came out as a single and it started doing well, I just turned to everybody and said, I'm sorry. <laughs> and I, I will never say anything about singles again. And to this day, my label will call me and go, hey, what do you want to be a single? And I'll go, whatever you can get on the radio. I have no idea. The Only Want to Be With You video was awesome. We're having a meeting and they say, uh, what do you guys want to do with this video? And without skipping a beat, I looked at them and said, I want to meet Dan Marino. That, that was all I wanted to do. They were great. They got, got somebody to write just a quick treatment. We knew golfers and we knew football players and we knew basketball players. And so we, we just did a sports thing. Dan Marino told me a football. That was the first time I'd ever met him. And, you know, he told me to go deep and then throw me the football. That was great. Playing golf with those guys who were our friends, you know, Fred Couples and Jay Haas. And the basketball day was awesome. We played basketball for hours and they said, okay, uh, you, why don't you guys play a game? And so we decided it was going to play us against the pros and we're up 20, playing at 25. And they were making baskets, and we hit three baskets, and it got 23, I think the score was 23 to eight. And it got real serious. And we did not score again. <laughs> they got real serious, and they were not gonna let these scrub musicians beat them, and they killed us from that point on. It's a fumble! They do not go all the way! I only wanna be with you special because it hits, man. Hits that have stood the test of time. You know, it still gets played on the radio. To have that kind of music that 27, 28, almost 30 years later still matters. That was one of the great honors of our career. <laughs>